everybody, my name is Sarah Jo. This week, I'm co-hosting music lessons with Carlos. See you! Welcome, everybody, to another live session in Music Lesson Webinar with Carlos. Today, we will cover different topics, such as ear training, music theory, keyboard skills, chord progressions, and contemporary voicings. We also have some new piano tutorials, so stay tuned, and let's get started. Hi, uh, Sarah Jo. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, new video by entitled uh, Stay, you know, by a uh, song by Australian rapper and singer Kid Laroi and Canadian singer Justin Bieber. Yeah, so talking a bit about this song, you know, the other day I heard it, I was so impressed, you know. This very young Australian artist, Kid Laroi, I think, what is he, 17 years old? Wow. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, so, you know, the song is kind of, to me, is kind of nice uh, synth pop, hip hop, pop rock song, and it incorporates keys, drums, has a nice layering of strings and uh, synth parts, string parts. Yeah, <clears throat> and, you know, if, if we pay attention to the song, there is a keyboard riff, you know, and it becomes kind of the main mo motif of the song, and eventually it becomes the chorus, you know, a chorus melody. Yeah, also for uh, singers, for my singing uh, as a vocal students, you know, we should pay attention about how Laroy and Bieber, they switch between head voice and chest voice. Yeah, and then uh, the song reaches uh, its climax and Laroy and Bieber voices join together, finally, in the last chorus. Also, for my songwriting students, you know, we should pay attention about how the story, you know, it's the story about a troubled relationship. You know, and Laroy kind of sets it up, you know, and he even, uh, <clears throat> in the song, he sings, um, you know, that almost it's his fault. And then Beaver comes in and then he echoes similar sentiments, yeah, through the lyrics, yeah, uh, until the end of the song. So it's a very nice, um, very nice song in, in how it develops. Okay, good. So now I want to do today, I want to do a few uh, different things. Number one, I have another video. I have another tutorial of Sarah Jo uh, about F minor, uh, licks on F minor, and I think it's really good. Yeah, and I want to play it. Yeah, I don't know if I can play the licks myself. Yeah, I haven't studied them. Yeah, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're great. So I want to play that next. And also next, um, uh, later, you know, Sarah, Sarah was uh, showing me, you know, some of the work of uh, some uh, K-pop artists like uh, uh, <clears throat> Blackpink 
And, you know, I, I enjoy BTS, but I never paid too much attention to Blackpink until I saw the work of La, uh, Lisa Manoban, Manoban, I think it's her last name, or in, and I was like, whoa, this is amazing. Yeah, and when I first heard the track La Lisa, you know, I was, you know, impressed, you know, so many years I also worked uh, as a producer, yeah. And uh, myself, I even I directed a couple of music videos, so that kind of made me help me appreciate yeah, all the work that goes behind the scenes. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So uh, I would like to share also another video. Yeah, that is a um, a, a song production kind of deconstruction. There is a kind of fancy term now these days, which is song deconstruction, reconstruction. It's kind of fancy terms. I used to do that in my old days. You know, when I finished Berkeley and I started to work as a producer, arranger, yeah, and I worked with a main, so many of the Latino record labels in 10th Avenue, New York. That's the work that I was paid to do. You know, take all my the different songs, transcribe them, uh, you know, recreate them with my MIDI modules as close as possible. And then they will, you know, use those tracks for, you know, their own artists. Yeah. You know, and I did that for many years. So uh, now with technology, yeah, I enjoy the fact that I can work with my production students, songwriting students, and even vocal, you know, uh, vocal students, you know, uh, coaching them. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing what we can do online now these days. So I would like to share that one. But before we start, yeah, I would like to share Sarah Joe's uh, latest blues uh, F minor lick video. It's really outstanding in my opinion. Okay, very, very nice tutorial. So I want to go back to the, to the beginning. And if I may, I'm going to put my piano. I don't know if I can play, you know, I'm going to make a, a fool of myself, but that's okay. 
Okay, you know, so one of the things that uh, Sarah Jo is doing, which is very interesting, you know, she is... Let me see. Do I have enough volume in my piano? Let me boost up my piano a bit. Okay. Yeah, so what Sarah Jo is doing is very interesting with her left hand. She's working a lot with a kind of stride. Yeah, and this is something that we actually should, you know, start practicing. You know, and then we can work with what she did also was very interesting. She was a kind of first playing the riff, but then doing variations on this riff, yeah? You know, I would do something like this. Yeah, and uh, yeah, those are very nice, very nice riffs. And then she goes to another one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, kind of same chord. It's a one six two five. You know, I'm not playing it exactly, you know, in approximation, you know, but you know, so 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 then we can take this riff. Just have fun, you know, it, it, take those lines to say, it's a startup, it's a startup, yeah, and then, uh, and then, uh, um, uh, develop, develop those lines. Okay, oh, now, uh, you know, now we have those two fives. Um, Yeah, using the blues scale. Yeah, using a F blues scale. Yeah, this is yeah, this is interesting. You know, we can use yeah, and still use a two five one. Yeah, yeah, that's what kind of Sarah is exploring here. Oh boy, those are tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah, so. Okay, and then what is she doing? What is Sarah doing? Oh, she's working with those patterns. Wow. Okay, <laughs> those I need to practice. I need to practice those. Okay. So, you know, okay, let's let's take this idea. You know, how about that we can go even ascending? Yeah, something like this. Yeah, wow, we can do so many things. So many things. Hey, Hiram, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to today's lesson. Yeah, we were working with some of Sarah's Joe latest latest grooves okay you'll see actually i really like this one yeah because it is kind of we have a little permutation here yeah that's it okay what can we do with this yeah we can actually change it around yeah 
yeah, I would do maybe something like this, yeah, I went up instead of going down the way the, the way Sarah has this pattern. Okay, and I want, I want to give ideas, yeah, now she has this, uh, okay, there is another, oh, she's using an F minor and A flat pentatonic, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't know, I'm just side reading. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing exactly, but at least it's the spirit. It is the spirit, yeah. This is a really nice line. You know what I should do? I have a few students who just came out a bit uh, late. I wanna play this video again, yeah? And we all are gonna watch, and I'm gonna leave it there because then, uh, um, yeah, it's, there is so much, so much in this video. And I'm gonna take my piano away yeah, I'm just going to uh, enjoy uh, Sarah's job performance. Okay, Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this video. Okay, I wanna, I wanna share another video. Yeah, it's another tutorial, actually, that I finished a, a couple days ago. It's, in, it's totally different. That brings me to another, another of, my, of my areas of musical experience, yeah? It's when, uh, I remember when finishing, um, Finishing Berkeley, yeah. Hi, everybody. Whoops, 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 not yet, not yet. Okay, so uh, when I uh, finished Berkeley, well, not even when I finished, in my last cup, in my last year, you know, uh, I started to work with all different singers as a keyboardist, arranger, producer, and suddenly I started to get more and more and more gigs, yeah, and that took, that took my life completely to another level and to another side. I thought, oh, uh, you know, I'm going to be a, um, a teacher, what I'm now, but not yet, yeah, I had to, <laughs> I had to actually do a lot, uh, have a lot of fun in music for about 20 years, 
before I decided to change my mind and uh, become an educator. Yeah. So anyways, it, why am I sharing this? Is because I'm very, very excited about uh, all the things that we can do now with technology. Let's see if I'm going to just fast forward here a bit. Whoa, you have two faces now, two Carloses. Yeah, anyways, but <clears throat> uh, I took the original track. I got a high quality uh, version of this song. And then uh, with whatever, you know, technology that we have available now, you know, I split the tracks, I synchronized the video and I tried to do an overview of the of of the song which i enjoy very much you know i i'm so impressed by the choreography and by the energy the raw energy of the performance so i'm gonna play i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you uh i hope that you enjoy because i really enjoyed doing this doing this uh a tutorial yeah so and it's different you know because everybody's doing a reaction no i, I didn't want to do a reaction i want to do a tutorial from the point of view as a, of a composer of a producer yeah for musicians for producers for songwriters for players yeah so so that was my intent so here we go and i'm gonna let you with okay so here we go Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the song Money by Lalisa, member of Blackpink. I saw the video today and I was really impressed by the song production and everything else like everybody else. The vocal performance, the choreography, Lalisa's amazing energy and performance. So I decided I would like to analyze the music of this song and also take it apart, take apart the elements of the production. Before I start, I would like to thank Sarah Jo for transcribing the whole song. So she uh, transcribed everything and wrote the whole music notation into C values that then we're going to use it in, uh, while we analyze the song. As you can see, there are uh, four audio tracks and the movie is already synchronized to the audio. Let's listen. I try to isolate some of the audio tracks using whatever technology I have available. It's not perfect, yeah, but it's good enough, yeah, good enough for what we want to do, yeah. Okay, so why don't we start? Um, the song starts with a very interesting thought. Money is a terrible master, but an excellent servant. Personally, I believe that from the beginning of our human history, we struggle with our relationship with money and all types of possessions. So the thought of turning this relationship around and having money serve us instead of spending our life chasing it, you know, is quite welcome, yeah, in, in my opinion. Yeah, so that thought kind of comes throughout the video, yeah, over and over again. It's, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, the speed yeah, is 140 beats per minute, 4-4 four, four time, and it's an E minor. Okay, I just want to uh, recap a, a couple thoughts. Yeah, in this scene is when the low vocals yeah, with uh, FX came in. Yeah, and then uh, we have here, we're getting ready for the ending and see you know the the incredible energy that comes in and there is the thought again money is a terrible master but an excellent servant yeah and then uh, right in between we have that scene with the flute yeah the the asian flute maybe shakuhasi yeah and uh, the flame just comes in right there beautifully edited and this is one of my favorite scenes which is just at the end when everybody stands yeah and well I hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, song analysis and <laughs> deconstruction. I, I definitely had a lot of fun doing this. And I will see you on the next video. Okay. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, that, um, that was a very, very interesting thing. A very interesting thing in which I put my attention towards. Now, I want to I wanna continue. Uh, I want to continue. Now we're going to go back to our regular work. And we have done this before, but I want to do it in a different way. Okay, I want to do this in a different way. What is the different thing that we're going to do? 
I want to play, um, I played uh, this chord progression in two different styles. One was more like a jazz fusion style, kind of medium slow, kind of a, a reminiscent of um, Jeff Lorber. Yeah, Jeff Lorber. Yeah, one of my, another of my musical heroes. Yeah, I've seen uh, Jeff Lorber develop himself, you know, since I was a student, you know, I was since I was maybe 16 years old, I saw him come up with his first album and, you know, uh, you know, the growing up, growing up, you know, so inspiring. And then another one, uh, I wanted to do more like a medium salsa and we covered that. And I want to talk now about a groove called Festejo. This is a Peruvian, Afro-Peruvian groove. It's going to kind of feel in 6-8. Yeah, 6-8 or 12-8. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, this is a groove of, you know, the where I come from. Yeah, from Lima. Yeah, from the from, from all that area. Yeah, so uh, the basis of Estejo, you know, in Peru, you know, we have Cajón. Yeah, yeah the box. Quijada de burro, which is the uh, donkey's uh, um, uh, jaw, yeah, cajita, yeah, which is a small uh, cajon, uh, and then we have congas and bongos, yeah, and, and all of that is gonna is is gonna be applied in this uh, style, you know, this style festejo became very popular since the, since the 60s in Peru in Lima. Yeah, and it was large, you know, to the work of, uh, you know, two artists that I remember. One was Victoria Santa Cruz, and the other one, I think, is his, uh, he, uh, her brother, Nicomedes Santa Cruz. Yeah, also, I think Nicomedes Santa Cruz, he, said he was an actor, if I don't, uh, if I remember right. Yeah, and Festejo can uh, be heard in uh, the, the, especially the coastal, mid-part mid coast of Lima, in Cañete, and Chincha. So those three, those three cities, uh, Lima, Cañete, Chincha, at least that's what I remember. Yeah, and there was a festival in Cañete, yeah, that uh, the best dancer was Miss Festejo. Yeah, so let's, let's now that we, I kind of talk too much about festejo let's let's just get the groove and let's start working with the groove yeah so that's gonna be fun yeah and we're just gonna play the the chords yeah same voices that we did before one moment one moment what have i done here okay yeah for now let's just play twice Okay, good. Here we go. take actually I wanna since we're playing you know I wanna mute the guitar yeah so we only are playing with drums and bass yeah so what happened here with my camera okay that's it better okay so we're gonna play we're gonna play this I'm gonna play the whole thing um, four times yeah, it's a hundred and uh, hundred and uh, twenty beats per minute, twelve kind of twelve eight feel. Yeah, and here we go. I'm gonna just play the groove. Two, three, and. <laughs> Thank you. 
so that was our 12 our 12 bar minor blues and minor blues but in festejo style now we can bring up the guitar so i want to bring i'm gonna put them a bit low yeah so okay and one moment let me boost up yeah we're we're good we're good let's let's give it another pass yeah let's review our voicing see our first voicing yeah, and then we have an f minor so. and then back to a c minor then i have an a flat seven g7 flat 13 flat 9 and back to a c minor 7 okay and now we're just gonna we're just gonna groove around yeah with with this track so here we go two one two three and start working with also different grooves yeah here in class yeah it's this is so much fun so much fun to do this okay i want to go back and i want to work with our left hand only yeah yeah so here we have left hand and how about if one moment let me see something here how about if, yeah, I'm going to mute everything, yeah? So it's just going to be uh, percussion, bass, and left hand. Okay, second chord. We have an F minor 7 with 9. Back to a C minor 7 with 9. Then we have an A flat, 7, 13, 9. And then we have a G7, flat 13, sharp 9. And then we go to back to a C minor 7, yeah? But now we're going to see if we can feel if if it's too much and we're getting lost, let's just play whole notes. Yeah, and that's fine for now. OK, good. So I'm muting everything but drums and bass. So here we go. Thank you. 
a nice workout with left hand. So now let's go back to both hands. Okay, both hands. We're going to do one more pass, one more pass with both hands. And now I want to bring everything. I want to bring everybody back. Yeah. I want to bring the guitar, both guitars. We have two guitars. Yeah. Okay. Let me see something here. All good, all good. But, 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 okay, we're good. Okay, let's play. Let's play uh, both hands. Let's let's try different rhythms. One, two, three, and. <laughs> doing this okay so next week what am I gonna do next week next week I wanna I wanna work with this chart um let me see I wanna work yeah this this is gonna take us at least a good 20 minutes a good 20 minutes so I'm not gonna do it today but uh, when I was a student, I was a big fan of uh, Ray Barreto. Yeah, this is, uh, the, you know, in my opinion, you know, this is just me talking. Yeah, you know, we have like three big salsa centers. You know, we have uh, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and New York. Yes, somebody else says, somebody else says, how about Miami? Yes. How about Lima? Callao? Yes. Yeah, but still, 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 still. Yeah, Cuba, Puerto Rico, New York, very distinct, distinct centers of salsa. And Ray Barreto, you know, he kind of belongs to the New York current and with an amazing pianist, Oscar Hernandez. Yeah, and then uh, maybe next week I'll, I'll share my story about how I met Oscar Hernandez. Yeah, and we became uh, acquaintance since, yeah. So this is actually a really nice, really nice chart. I'm just going to play a couple measures because we're going to play this next week. <laughs> Artificial, 
Pam, param, para. Okay. And see, I even put the clave here. You yeah. had two, three, three, two. I remember my days that I was working as a salsa piano player in studios. You know, we had to write the clave on top of all the charts. Okay. I'm just uh, doing a preview. Preview what is coming up next week. Yeah, this is a tricky chart. Yeah, so we're going to have to spend. We're probably not going to be able to do the whole song in one pass. No way. But at least we can do half. Half of the song. Yeah, and then the other half we can do it for the next week. Okay, excellent. So I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. And I hope that you can continue joining me next week. And have a wonderful rest of the evening, and I'll see you next Sunday. So, thank you for being with me in this live broadcast. We covered a lot of material, and we're going to continue to do so in our next class. I'll see you next week, same time, same channel. Until then, have a wonderful week, practice your instrument every day, and listen and play lots of good music. See you next week.